Hello, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. How are you all? I hope you are doing very well with the grace of Almighty Allah. So, <coughs> today, uh, welcome to Heather Tech, and today we are going to discuss about FTP server and the web server. So, FTP, I already configured it here. Again, I will tell you how you can create username and the password, and how you can enable the FTP services and web services in Packet Tracer. So, let's start our uh practical now so first of all let me take the the web server okay and uh, install it here so let me change the name as well so this is the name so we, i will say web server okay web server and dns server i will say okay this is the, my web server and that one is my ftp server so first i will make the connections uh, fast ethernet here to with my switch and uh, I need to assign the IP addresses to my web server. Okay, how you can enable the web services? Click here, go to the desktop, go to the services. Okay, first let me assign the IP addresses. Okay, so let me assign the IP address. IP address of my web server is 192.168.1.6. Okay, so subnet mask, default subnet mask, and and default gateway is 1.1. So 1.1 and my DNS is same is my DNS. Okay, so this is my DNS server. Okay, <coughs> so this is the configuration here and go to the services. If you will go to the services, I need to enable the HTTP. Okay, the HTTP. So HTTP is enabled by default. If you want to change it here, if you want to uh, change and you want to write something and you can write it here like uh, six and uh, let me because i just want to uh, design my uh, web page so the web page i'm just writing heather tech okay welcome to heather tech uh, here i'm going to write just one minute uh, welcome to heather tech okay welcome to heather tech okay save and done this is done http is enabled just i need to now enable the dns okay so here you need to write a dns name okay so dns services first you need to make it on and then the dns name heather tech okay heather tech.com we can say heather tech.com this is my dns name and the the ip address we can say 192 one dot six okay so this is the name and this is the the one so i have added and save it that it's done okay so once you will done this one you can test it from the the pc so let me go to the ftp server first again we can also configure the ftp services as well okay if you'll go to the services here i think we already enabled the uh, http so http i will make it off on this one okay make it on but the dns i let me remove the dns from here okay because uh, before i make this one as a uh, the dns as well okay and uh, go to the desktop and this is the ip address of my ftp server 1.5 so let me change here because the dns has been changed okay this is my ftp server okay ftp services how you can enable it go to the ftp and uh, you can create the username okay let me arrange username okay we, i will say heather and password is uh, heather123 h-a-i-d-e-r one two three header one two three okay so you need to give the permission to this user read write delete rename and list you can give all the the permission to this user and it's up to you if you want to give only read permission write permission delete permission it's up to you okay so you can give the permission so we have created so you can create as much as uh, as many as uh, as you want okay so now you have created the user in ftp services ftp is already on so we can just check okay the ftp is configured or not okay first we can see uh, the d uh, sorry this one the dns and the web services okay so the dns and the web services what you need to do so from the web server you need to click it here on the web server type uh, 
the name heathertech.com click out and go and you will find you will get the the web page which have we have created which uh, we have configured on the web server okay so header text okay you can see so this is the one now we need to now check the, the FTP services the FTP is working fine or not okay so go to the command prompt we can see the FTP what is my FTP FTP IP address of my FTP server is 192.168.1.5 okay so now connected username is header and password is header123 okay so you can see we have we have we are access to the FTP server you can see here see now we are in the FTP server so if you want to see how many files are uploaded you can see all these are the files so which are already in our FTP server so you can upload the file and you can download some of the file from the FTP server okay so how you can upload or download some file from the FTP server you can do it okay so you can easily do it suppose if you want to copy this file okay so copy this file into your PC what you need to write okay you need to get okay just write here get okay get and the name of the file suppose I just copy the name of the file and click it here and it start downloading the file into your computer okay so it will take some time and uh, because the file it's a ASA 842k a dot bin this is a ASA uh, OS uh, k9 OS so it will take some time and uh, this is the way you can s uh, download the file from your FTP server now I will show you how you can upload the file to the FTP server from the client okay from the PC so I will go to the PC one and I will show you how you can upload any file how you can create the file and upload in the FTP server okay so meantime it is in process so I will show you at the end so go to the desktop and uh, go to the command prompt I'm in the PC2 so FTP 192.168.1.5 okay so header H A I D E R and there password is sorry H A I D E R okay so this is the one so I need to upload the file okay before going to uploading the file I need to create the file okay so first I will create the file in PC one how to create the file in PC one so I will just show you how you can create the file this is a text editor so you can write something here this is your file this is this is header tag my file is this one and now let me save the file so I will save the name header okay H -A -I -D -E -R. okay suppose header I name dot txt okay this is a txt file okay I'll just save it here I just want to see whether it has been saved or not so let me quit Q U I T quit okay dir you can see i have saved uh, i have created the file you can see and now i need to upload this file in my ftp server how you can upload the file first you need to log in okay so ftp okay uh, ftp username header h capital h a i d e r header and password is H A I D E R one two three. Okay, now you can see none of the header files are there, so this text file is not available in the FTP server. So I need to upload the file from PC one. So this is my PC one. Okay, this is my PC one. I need to upload this header.txt file which I have created now to my FTP server. Okay, so what is the command? Okay, you can write put and header. Okay, H A I D E R dot T X T. Okay, just press enter. You can see now it has been copied to your FTP server. So we can see T I R. So you can see here header.txt file has been copied to my FTP server if you want to verify 
and double check on the so you can also check it here go to the FTP and uh, you can see all these files in the FTP server you will find it here so let me go down you can see here so this file has been copied from the PC1 to FTP server so so that's all for today and uh, please like and subscribe our video thank you for watching.